Hi everyone, if you'd like to use this unusual transition technique in your own videos, then I'll show you a very easy way to achieve this, and this is utilizing HitFilm Express. To demonstrate in my timeline, I've got two short video clips, and it's that shorter clip we're actually going to concentrate on. For the moment, if I move the timeline cursor, we've just got a straight cut between the one view and the next, as you can see there. First of all, do a right click and select Make Composite Shot. I'm going with the defaults, they're fine for demonstration. Select that little triangle there and then select Transform. Move that timeline cursor to around about the one second mark, give about that, and then select Rotation and then select Position. So we've got two keyframes in our timeline. Move that timeline cursor right to the very start of the video clip. And then we've got Rotation, we're going to type in minus 90. So we're turning around 90 degrees, as you can see there. And all we need to do then is just adjust the coordinates so its position is right at the very edge of the left hand side of the screen. So just simply just hold the left button on your mouse and just draw that up as you can see there. I'm just moving my mouse there to the, the right hand side to actually move that up. And then we do the same to move that right to the left hand side. So it just about sort of disappears. As you can see now we've got four little keyframes in our timeline. So I'm going to apply that back. It rotates round. What would be fun is if we can actually add just a little bit of a bounce. So what I'm going to do is just simply just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've moved 8 frames. And now I'm just going to create a little sort of slight bounce effect by just putting 2 in there. So we're actually going 2 degrees past horizontal as you can see. Do another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we'll type in 0. So then when we play that back we've actually got a nice little bounce. There we go. And then we're going to do a similar sort of technique on the axis of the actual video clip or the end of it. So move your timeline cursor to the point where you want to start making those changes. Now what I'm going to do is just simply just hold the left one on my mouse, select both those little keyframes, and then simply just do a copy and then do a paste. So in other words, our video clip will play normally between those two points. Move the timeline cursor right to the very end of the video clip there, and then we're going to type in 90. And then we do the same trick here again with its position, we'll just adjust it to suit so it just disappears off that right hand side. And then similar it right to the very end there. There we go. What we can do is just, if you like, sort of smooth this out a little bit, simply just select all those little keyframes and then do a right click and select temporal interpolation and then select smooth. Then we'll go back into the editor and we apply this back. This is what we end up with. And there you go, it's just an unusual transition technique that perhaps you'd like to use in your own videos just to make them stand out just that little bit more. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this, then please give me a thumbs up. As always, I will catch up with you soon.